28 years old, an electrician from Albuquerque. Aside from his confessions, we may never know much more about the mind of David Hickman. For a week in November 2016, Hickman terrorized the city of Albuquerque, setting nine total fires, burning a nearly completed luxury condo complex to the ground in Knob Hill. In a detailed confession filed in federal court on Wednesday, Hickman admits to throwing homemade devices into that building. The fire I started consumed the structure, he admits in that 18-page guilty plea. The building was a total loss, and for weeks afterward, no one was allowed anywhere near it, including the owners of a restaurant right next door. 16 days. 16 days we were dark. Nick Nellos owns Raging Shrimp, where staff was prepping 50 pre-ordered turkeys. It was the day before Thanksgiving. So it's pretty traumatic for us and for all those people. But Hickman's arson spree was just getting started. Over the next four days, he set fires at four Starbucks locations, a pro-life counseling clinic, a document shredding business. I got into the shredded building by firing 762 caliber rounds into a glass door, Hickman says in the confession. And later that day, Hickman caused nearly a million dollars in damage to a Barnes & Noble store. I used my mason jar devices and a road flare to start fires in the store. Hickman was finally caught by police after setting fire to this Old Navy. But in 18 pages of detailed confession, Hickman leaves out one answer, the big one. Why? The FBI raided Hickman's home in Barelas and found guns, the explosive, tannerite, kerosene, firecrackers, propane tanks, and an assembled explosive device. But no motive. Hickman never explains his crimes.